Anyone that says leadership and management is easy has no clue what leadership and management is all about. But learning to execute and implement the six core leadership competencies will empower you and equip you to make it easier. You know, the six core leadership competencies will help you deal with the stress, the challenges, and the demands of leadership. So you can win as a leader manager, right? You make it look easy. You make leadership and management look easy because you are committed to the six core leadership competencies, leading and managing comes easier to you than it would otherwise. You make it look easy. Um, I mean, the first core leadership competency, for example, is strategic planning. The ability to get from ideation to implementation, which, which by the way is one of the titles, is the subtitle of my book on strategic planning. This leadership competency is the one skill that top leaders and managers have mastered. And you are becoming more and more a top-rate leader manager by improving your strategic planning effectiveness. That is why you are able to cope with the challenges and demands of leadership. That is why you make it look easy, right? And so, and so people looking on at you say, "Wow, well, I could do that job." You know, that's a that's that's a breeze. Look, look how look how he's handling it. Look how she's handling it. I could do that job. But the only reason that you're able to make it look easy is because you've mastered the six core leadership competencies, particularly the one on strategic planning. And so the other core leadership competency that that, that makes you, that, that gives you the ability to make leadership look easy, right, is you, you, you have a great understanding, a grasp of your leader manager ecosystem, right? So in, in, in our training programs, we talk about the leader manager ecosystem or the leadership ecosystem. And we talk about the four R's, relationships, resources, rules, and results. When you get a good grasp of how to navigate through your leader manager ecosystem, leadership and management looks easy to the onlooker, right? But they don't know that you have taken the time and committed to understanding, navigating through your leader manager ecosystem. So picture this, right? Picture this scenario. And this, this could happen to any leader manager on any given Monday. Uh, you, you remember that movie called uh, Any Given Sunday with Al Pacino and Jamie Foxx? Yeah, that's a while back, so I'm kind of aging myself there, but uh, that was a great movie. That was a great movie. But yeah, on any given Monday, right, any leader, any manager, you or I, we could come into work expecting our team to be on the ball in executing their strategic plan assignments, pursuing strategic goals, just performing it at a high level. We, we, we come in every Monday expecting that, right? But on any given Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, we might have to deal with a team disagreement and conflict that sort of brings that strategic plan execution to a screeching halt. I mean, your COO and your CFO bumping heads on, on having different opinions on how to execute some critical phase of the strategic plan and, and everything kind of shuts down, waiting until they can kind of figure things out. Yeah, on any given Wednesday, that could happen. On any given Monday, that could happen. To any given leader, or manager, that could happen to them, right? And I'm sure it's probably happened to you. The, the, the challenge though, you know, is when days like this turn into weeks and months, hopefully not, if you've been developing your six core leadership competencies, but, but that's, that's really the scary part, is when days like these days, where you have a, a bottleneck and you have a disagreement and log ahead and people just can't seem to move past that disagreement, the real scary thing is when those days turn into weeks and months. But if you've been mastering the core leadership competency of how to handle disagreement and still 
get things done, how to execute strategic plans and achieve strategic goals, even with disagreement, then it's not so scary for you. Then, then again, you're able to make leadership and management look easy, even in the middle of, you know, real heated disagreements between, between key uh, team members, right? You're able to make leadership look easy because you know how to handle disagreement and still get things done. Yeah, because see, this is one of the this is one of the hallmarks of a truly great leader. Um, uh, effective leader knows how to differentiate between what I call functional disagreements versus dysfunctional disagreements, and, and and know how to navigate through those two types of agreements um, to maintain team productivity especially you know when team members don't see eye to eye on, on everything and that's going to happen right i mean if everybody is agreeing on everything general macarthur i think it was general macarthur who said if everybody agrees on everything or if everybody sees if everybody thinks the same way then nobody's thinking right nobody's thinking so the challenges of being a leader could be overwhelming if you don't have this handle on the core leadership competencies, core leadership competencies. Because those six core leadership competencies gives you the skills and the strategies to deal with the challenges of leadership. So there are six of them. Uh, for example, another one is your ability to build and lead teams. You know, building leading and managing teams so that they perform at high levels of excellency, that you are able to get them to move past complacency. And complacency is the, is the killer, is the silent assassin of excellence, right? So how do you build teams, lead teams, and get them to perform at high levels of excellency, avoid danger of complacency, how to get those teams to understand their roles, their, their rules, how to get them to understand the, the leadership ecosystem. Relationships, resources, rules and results. How do you transfer that, not that knowledge from you to them so that they can navigate on the team effectively, right? So building and leading teams is another core competency that it gives you the ability to make leadership and management look easy. It's not easy, but you can make it look easy when you master these six core leadership competencies. You know, maybe the most important prerequisite for being an impactful leader is self-leadership. Of, of all the six core leadership competencies, and they're all important, and so sometimes I really have a hard time trying to prioritize which is most important. Um, I mean, they're all 1A, 1B, 1A, 1B. They're, they're all important. But self-leadership is key, right? If you can't lead yourself and manage yourself, how in the world do you expect to lead a team? I mean, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't compute. In fact, we, we, we teach a, a course, a master class called You Can't Lead. And, you know, when, when people hear that topic, they'll be like, what? I've been leading for 30 years. You're going to tell me I can't lead? Well, well, it, the, the, the premise of that title is you can't lead others if you can't lead yourself, right? A little bit of a teaser right there, you know, you can't lead. Um, Lao Tzu said that mastering others is great, but mastering self-mastery is, um, is the ultimate in leadership. But yeah, self-leadership has got to be something that you have a handle on. You've got to be growing in your self-leadership competencies if you expect to, if you're going to expect to be able to uh, lead your team effectively, right? When you face leadership challenges, you never throw your hand up in despair or disgust and say, look, I'm tired of this. I'm sick and tired of this. See, winning leaders and managers know that 
planting this seed of tiredness and sickness, you know, in your consciousness will ultimately make you sick and tired of leadership and your productivity, effectiveness, and ability to, to, to achieve uh, leadership goals and organizational goals begins to decline. And you sort of wonder why. And that's because you keep telling yourself that you're tired and sick of leading. I mean, you know, it's, it's the crazy thing, the way the subconscious and the conscious works. If you consciously make these statements, ultimately your subconscious is a very obedient servant. And your subconscious is going to begin to say, I guess I need to become sick and tired of leading. So, so no matter how you, no matter how the pressures and the demands of leadership and management get to you, you know, get under your very last good nerve, you, you kind of want to watch what you say to yourself. You want to monitor that. And so winning leaders know that they don't they, they don't plant that seed of tiredness and sickness. You don't want to plant that seed in the subconsciousness because eventually you're going to become weak, sick, and tired of leading. And you wonder why. Simply because you've been telling yourself that you're sick and tired of leading. So what I suggest is that to build a winning leadership mindset, because it's all about mindset, right? How you think. If you think you're sick and tired, you're sick and tired. If you think you're sick and tired of leadership and you keep talking sick and tired of leadership to yourself, eventually that mindset will make you sick and tired. So to build a winning leadership mindset when you face leadership challenges, difficulties. You want to affirm to yourself that I am challenged. You want to say, I am challenged by leadership. Not that I'm sick and tired of leadership. I am challenged by leadership. These challenges stimulate my creative resiliency. So I'm not sick and tired of leadership. I'm challenged by leadership. But those challenges stimulate my creative resiliency. Challenges never make me sick and tired. Challenges always make me more creative and more resilient. I, I want this to resonate with you, right? And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you for leadership affirmations, right? And every now and again, it's good to just go ahead and, 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 and tailor these, tailor these affirmations to yourself. You know, you don't have to use these exact same words, but here's how I use my affirmations. I never get sick and tired of leadership challenges. That's my affirmation number one. So I affirm to myself that I never, never get sick and tired of leadership challenges. Leadership challenges, they only make me more and more creative, more and more resilient. Bring it on, bring it on, yeah. And then my next affirmation is for every challenge, I create new ways to strategically allocate relationships and resources so that I can achieve the strategic results, outcomes, and the vision for my team or my organization. I am creatively resilient. I lead and manage with creative resiliency. What 
this has been helpful to you. I know it has been. Um, I had so many people uh, give me feedback whenever I did this presentation. And that's why I want to put it on video so more and more people can have access to it. But whenever I've done this presentation, leaders and managers, you know, email me, text me and say, hey man, really, really, really good stuff. Um, it's really been a lifesaver for me, right? So listen to this video time and time again and, and build your own leadership challenge affirmations. And I, I guarantee, <laughs> as Charles Barkley said, I, gar I guarantee, guarantee, I can never say guarantee like Charles Barkley. But uh, those of you basketball fans know what I'm talking about. I, I Charles Barkley guarantee that this will work for you, make you, equip you, empower you to be a more resilient, successful, winning leader. That's you. That's you. I'm creatively resilient and resiliently created. I lead and manage with creative resiliency. I'm creatively resilient and resiliently created. I lead and manage with creative resiliency. Leading with creative resilience is my master strategy for handling leadership challenges. Leading with creative resilience is my master strategy for handling leadership challenges. There should be a link with this video. Please be sure to click that link to get more information on Dr. Murray's next masterclass or training program on one of the six core leadership competencies. Also, please subscribe to Dr. Murray's YouTube channel. You will see a subscribe button at the end of this video. Just hit subscribe to get weekly leadership and management resources to help you make leadership and management look easy. And don't forget to like this video and share it with other leaders and managers so they too can learn how to make leadership and management look easy. Hope this has been helpful to you. I know it has been. Equip you, empower you to be a more resilient, successful, winning leader.